A very wise and well-respected man once said, Lighten up, Francis. Today, I will be answering the most common question, by far the most common question that people ask me. Actually, it's three questions. They're all kind of related. And those questions are, if you are talking on a GMRS radio, how does the FCC know if you have a license or not? Number two, how does the FCC know if you're talking on a GMRS radio, which does require a license, or an FRS radio, which requires no license? They use the same frequencies. How does the FCC know which type of radio you're transmitting on? And number three, finally, how does the FCC know if you're transmitting on something like a Bufwang UV5R, which is not permitted to be used on GMRS frequencies, how do they know if you're using this while transmitting on GMRS frequencies? And trust me, after watching this wet facial of truth, all of those radio Karens are going to be very butthurt. But first, a couple of very quick answers to questions that people seem to leave on every single video that I make. The first one, where can I get shirts like yours? You can get shirts like mine by clicking on the link in the information section that says, click here to get shirts like mine. The second question is, what camera and audio equipment do you use? You look and sound so good. You can see what camera and audio equipment I use by clicking on the link that says, click here to see what camera and audio equipment I use in the information section below. And finally, number three, why did you delete my comment? You can see why I deleted your comment by clicking on the link in the information section below that says, click here to see why I deleted your comment. Okay, are you ready for this big truth facial? So if you are talking on a GMRS radio like this Wuxin UV9GX, how does the FCC know if you have a GMRS license or not? Well, the FCC rules say that if you do have a license, you must announce your call sign every time you transmit or every 15 minutes. The point is, if you have a license, the rules say you must announce it to let everyone know. That is how the FCC knows if you do have a GMRS license. But if you're transmitting and you don't announce your call sign because you don't have one, how does the FCC know if you have a license or not? And the answer to that is very simple. The FCC does not know. The next question is, how does the FCC know if you are transmitting on a GMRS radio, like this UV9GX, that does require a GMRS license, or if you are transmitting on an FRS radio, such as this, which does not require any license? They transmit on the same frequencies. How does the FCC know? According to the sad hams that I have seen answering this question online many times, according to them, the FCC can tell what type of radio you're transmitting on, what brand radio and what model radio you're transmitting on by the electronic RF signature that is given off by the radio every time you transmit. And I think that this is total bullshit. But. I can't say for sure because I don't know what technologies the FCC does or does not have. But let's use our imagination for just one minute. No, not to imagine what a truth facial is. Let's imagine that the FCC does have this technology and that they have a database of all RF signatures of all brands and types of radios. And let's imagine that they can tell instantly by receiving those RF signatures and comparing it to their database, they can tell instantly what radio you're using, just like all of the radio Karens keep telling us. And as long as we're imagining, let's also imagine that the FCC can also quickly triangulate your position, either the old fashioned way with some vans driving around their, your neighborhood, or they have some new technology. Remember, we're imagining here, imagine that they have some new technology so that instead of driving the vans around, they can quickly, from some remote location, triangulate your location while you're transmitting. Remember, we're just imagining here. Bear with me, follow along. And assuming that the FCC can do all of those things that we've been imagining, 
All of the things that the radio Karens have been telling us that the FCC can and will do, assuming for a moment that all of that is true, the real question is, will the FCC use all of those resources to come and track you down because you transmitted on your GMRS radio without a GMRS license? Now this question, I am unable to answer, but thankfully the FCC can answer this question for us, and they do answer this question for us in the FCC Enforcement Database, the public FCC Enforcement Database. As you probably know, as you should know if you watch my videos, the FCC is required to make public every enforcement that they do, every mean letter, every fine that they issue, Every time they send someone to prison, it has to be in their enforcement database. And according to the FCC enforcement database, the FCC has never done any of these things for someone simply transmitting on a GMRS radio without a GMRS license. Now I have said this before in previous videos and when I say these things, some people have totally lost their shit. They call me names, they make fun of me, and they proclaim without any evidence or sources that I don't know what I'm talking about. So do not take my word for it. I'm just some YouTube hobo. You don't know if I'm telling you the truth or not. I am. But don't take my word for it. Search through the FCC enforcement database yourself to see if I am telling the truth or if all those radio Karens are just spreading more boogeyman stories. I will put a link to the FCC enforcement database in the information section below, which we've already talked about earlier, so that you can look it up yourself, and when necessary, you can do your own truth facials. And finally, the last question. How does the FCC know if you're transmitting on a GMRS frequency using a Boofwang UV5R, which as all of the radio Karens will point out to you over and over and over again, is illegal. Point of fact, while using a Boofwang UV5R or other non-FCC Part 95 approved radio to transmit on GMRS frequencies, doing this is not illegal. However, it does violate the FCC rules and regulations not laws. And the answer to this question is pretty much the same as the answer to the question on whether or not you're using a GMRS radio or an FRS radio. That answer is the FCC does not know. But more important, according to the FCC enforcement database, which is linked in the information section below, according to the FCC enforcement database, the FCC does not care. Now, as many radio Karens will point out online over and over and over again, the FCC may be aware if you're transmitting on a GMRS radio without a license or using a UV5R on GMRS frequencies if someone submits a complaint to the FCC, which is very easy to do online. The local radio dork group in your area may actually do some of the investigative work for the FCC and triangulate and fox hunt your location and then report all of your crimes against humanity to the FCC. The FCC would then be aware of these heinous crimes that you have committed, but according to the FCC enforcement database, at least for the last 10 years, the FCC does not care.